Yo, YouTube was good. Just bringing y'all let uh, update, letting y'all know that I did make a Patreon. Uh, for only five dollars, you will have access to the best blitzes in the game, the best money plays. Cause I have uploaded like three good glitchy blitzes on here just to show y'all that I do bring y'all that fire. I'm still gonna upload blitzes on here. But, like, as for those type blitzes, now they're going to be on my Patreon. So, the link will be in the description if you want access to that. For $5, you'll have access to those blitzes, money plays, and I will be updating that daily, almost weekly. Like, almost every day, there will probably be a new blitz on there for only $5. And for $10, you will have access to my full defensive guide. And I show you, I break down everything I do. And that will be coming November 15th. But without further ado, click that link in the description and uh, become a Patreon. But let's hop straight into this video. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Man Flow back with another blitz that can, can't be blocked by a running back. But unfortunately, if they max protect, this blitz can be blocked. I feel like I failed y'all, but there is a there is a three four odd corner blitz I just uploaded on my Patreon. Comes in against two running backs blocked in the backfield. Uh, max protect no matter what. So y'all can go check that out if you want. Link will be in the description. But this blitz does come in with a running back block. Unfortunately, it doesn't be max protect. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. This blitz only uh. A running back does pick this blitz up about 15% of the time. I don't, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to be that dude. Uh, but we're just going to go with a running back block to the same side. Just for people in the comment section. All you're going to do is base a line, press, uh, pinch a D line, then crash them to the left. And then you can pit this guy right here. You can pit him in a hook. Make sure you put a sub a linebacker in here. Don't have a left end right here. Please, y'all. Come on sub a linebacker in here man him up sub somebody like kendrick's right there so you can man him up hit him in a hook and then you're going to move this guy right right above the left tackle like that or right above the left end like just a little bit outside and then you can move to this corner this is the guy who's going to be blitzing move him in like about two yards if you want you don't have to uh, it's not necessary we all see right there he comes straight through running back block and cannot get to him I know the first thing y'all gonna be a corner blitz. They're just gonna throw a quick streak, J Mail. No, 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 no. Y'all know I wouldn't let Lee y'all hanging like that, bro. You're gonna base the line, you're gonna press, pinch a D line, crash him to the uh, left, put that guy in the hook, move this guy right here. This is why you're moving this guy right here. I'm gonna show y'all why. I'm gonna just show y'all why. When they try, try a quick streak, this is Terrell Sucks. Keep this in mind. 77 speed. So imagine if you got somebody like Anthony Barr there. You leave him on his seam flat or a flat zone, a purple or a seam flat. The way he gets to this streak is ridiculous. Look at this. They're not throwing a quick streak. They are not throwing a quick streak. I promise y'all. They're not. Y'all won't get bombed. Y'all won't get torched on this play. I know last year, Madden, they sent the corner blitz. You could just do that, but not this year. The zones are phenomenal. So you're going to base the line, press, pinch the line, crash them to the uh, left. Move this guy in. Move this guy out just a little bit. And go, yeah, like, j -Man, you can't do that that fast. That's why I usually don't even move that guy out all the time unless, like, they're making hella adjustments and I know I have time. I usually just leave him right there, and all I do is baseline press, pinch my D-line, crash middle, and do this, move him over, and I get back to here. Because if you do that, because, like, you don't have to, like, y'all see right there, you don't have to, uh... You don't have to move that guy over. He will still come through, but he just takes a lot longer, and then, like, he usually runs into the the offensive line that's blocking i don't know why he does that like i think because like the offensive line is trying to get to the outside so by the time that corner gets there uh i guess i guess by the time the corner gets there like look he's trying to shed his block so that's why i do like to move him in sometimes so this blitz can be set up fast like it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of time to set up this blitz like right there is set up and then you can make your adjustments from there like you can really honestly do what you want with that blitz as long as you get the setup down you should be straight but like i said y'all got any questions the 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 coverage on the field is excellent so i don't know why would y'all have questions but if y'all do got any questions just leave comment in the uh comment section below i will try to get back to y'all and this is out the four three wide nine it's, it's really good run d and a lot of people have been asking me blitzes from here because it has been helping them stop the run but they don't got no heat so here y'all go setup will be in the description be sure to uh, go to my patreon check it out if you want to the best blitzer out there but until then it's your boy jmail flow aka mr let's get it let's